I'm Michelle Mackey in downtown Toronto, where residents here along Queen's Quay were witness to quite the surprise this morning. A coyote roaming the streets in broad daylight. It's common. It's happened more than, uh, it wasn't our first time seeing one. As long as we're cautious and aware, I saw a lot of people, you know, d uh, directing us away from the, or the coyote. So I thought everybody looks quite aware and safe. Toronto Animal Services says coyotes are typically more active in January and February due to mating season. So residents may encounter more coyotes in parks and green spaces. Coyote Watch Canada adds there may be another reason for the sighting. Some of the juveniles from this year, so they would be 10 months old, they could be dispersing right now. And so you've got movement happening. Um, they're leaving mom and dad. They're leaving the home range. And so those individual coyotes that you see, although they appear full grown, they're essentially 10 months old. They're teenagers, they're inexperienced, naive. That's why one of the most important things you can do is never feed a coyote. Wildlife experts say this will increase their proximity tolerance to humans. Does it concern you that a coyote was spotted here in broad daylight? No, because they've been in the neighborhood forever. They've been living around here forever. You At the end of the day, we are in their habitat. So what should we as human beings yeah. do if we see one when we're out for our morning stroll? Always be aware of your surroundings. Use those techniques. Never turn your back and run. Make sure that you're very um, consistent and use a very forceful, assertive messaging, you know, clap. Again, at a 10-month-old uh, young coyote, might be very curious about a dog. The other thing is they are very curious canids. So that's why Toronto Animal Service, of course, suggests leashing your dog at all times when you're outside, staying vigilant as well. And also you might see more coyotes at this time of year because they have no foliage to hide behind in the winter months. By Queen's Key, Michelle Mackey, City News.